Welcome to another LinkedIn Ads tutorial. So today we're talking about LinkedIn Business Manager, which is a new thing, which is still in beta, and I think it's gonna be rolled out to everyone. Anyone can get it at the moment, and this tutorial is gonna tell you how to get it and give you kind of the framework around what's the purpose of it. And it's just gonna be a tutorial around Business Manager. It's a really useful thing they've done. It's basically what Facebook and Meta have had for a long, long time. And it's really useful, especially if you're like a LinkedIn consultant agency, or you need to just share access to multiple pages and multiple things. It's just an easier way to manage all that layer of admin um, rather than doing in campaign manager, which is what we currently have. So if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and the bell button. And also I have a totally free LinkedIn ads targeting like a pro course. You can check out the link in the description below. So definitely check that out. So let's jump into, into the tutorial. Um, the first thing you need to do is actually make sure you have a campaign manager and an ads account. So you can do that if you go to LinkedIn and you go to work on the right here and you click advertise, it's gonna pop up with a few different things. It's gonna link your business uh, page and then you're going to have campaign manager which is what we've basically always had this is my tutorial account and this is a campaign manager I have another video just on campaign manager which you need to check out I'll leave it in the description below and there'll be a link at the end of this video but once you have that then go to um, the next thing you need to set up is your business manager so just type into google linkedin business manager and you're going to get get taken to this page create business manager and once you've done that, which is really simple again, you're gonna be taken to um, basically the home page, which is here. So this is what you're gonna have, it's still and better, business manager. Um, and these bars here are basically the same as these here. So I'm gonna go through them one by one here. And if we go down to people, the first thing actually I'd like to explain is the on the left here you have this id this is your business manager id this is going to be important in a minute so just this is where you can find your business manager id but on people it's really cool because your business manager can have access to other people's accounts and other people's pages and other people's um, LinkedIn ads accounts. So instead of getting everyone, diff the various people you need to have access to each of those different accounts in Campaign Manager, you have to get each individual there. Your client or whoever you're managing your the ads account for can just give your business manager access. Then you can change the people. You can have freelancers or consultants join your business manager and you, they get access um, you can give them access to the other people's ads accounts. So you can, for example, if someone leaves or you gets fired, you can just change that up really easily without speaking to your client every time. It's linked to your business manager rather than the individuals, which is way, way, way better. So once you're here, you can literally just invite people <clears throat> and you do that with an email and you can basically make them an admin, can manage everything in business manager, including people and ad accounts. So this is like more like your business partner or something. Most people should come under employee or contractor, and it's pretty simple. If they're an employee, get them that. If they're contractor, give them that. <clears throat> um, so that's really, really cool. You can give different people different access to your business manager. Um, the next one is partners. So for example, this is what you should do. You should get your client, hopefully, or your agency to give, you know, link the two um, business managers together rather than just having it there you can do it in two ways, but I would recommend linking, getting them, if they're a client, to set up their own business manager and just linking the business managers together. So this is how you do it with the partners. So you basically um, you basically just get them to give you this code here and you get them to copy it and you then can just put it in add partner. Or you can give it to them and you can add partner. It just links the two accounts, but then you can decide what you share among each other. So once, for example, um, you've linked the accounts. Either you get their ID or you give them your ID. It's the same thing. It doesn't really matter which way around that comes. Then you create a link between the accounts. And then once you have this, so I have Superlumen here. This is, I have two accounts. Um, if you go in, now you can share your pages with them if they're your client or, sorry, if they're your agency or they're a consultant. Or, and you can share the ad account. And if you share the ad account, they also automatically share the matched audiences, which is quite cool. And you also get access to their campaign manager, which is quite cool. So you can share pages, you can share ad account. And for example, they can do the same from their side. Um, so you need to ask them to do that. Um, so for example, no ad accounts shared. 
uh, no pages, but you can ask them to do that. So how they would do it or how you can share it with them is you now go to, um, well, you go to your shared and you share, you literally click share pages. And the first thing you need to do before you do that actually is to add your page and add your ad account. So the first thing you go is go to ad account and add accounts. So you can do this in three different ways. You can claim ownership of your own account, which is just you literally, with this, you just put in your um, campaign manager ID. So your campaign manager ID is, if you click up here, it's this one here. This one here is your campaign manager ID. So you can literally click, copy paste that, paste it in there and you click add. So I've already done that and it's here. So it's as simple as that. And then suddenly you've added that. If you have loads of them, claim add accounts in business, but if you have like, 10 or 20, you can do it in a CSV file, which is quite a simple CSV file. You just have, you in the CSV file, which looks like this, you just create a bunch of bars which have ad account IDs. So you put all the ad, ad account or campaign manager IDs here and they'll be shared automatically and you can upload them. Um, so it's super simple. And then if once you've done that, you go to your pages and you want to link your page to your business manager. So you can either request access to other people's pages, but again, I would recommend getting your client or getting the other person to start their own business manager and sharing via the partnership. But you can also do it this way. You can just request access to your uh, clients or whoever is business page and you can manage it from your business manager but you can also to add your own page for example mine is super lumen so let's get super lumen so you click here find page I understand that page admin should be invited I verify okay cool so add and now it's here it's active they know it's mine and you can just click in or go to it so once that's added that's great and you can see here the matched audiences actually went automatically when i added the ad account the matched audiences came through as well so the final one is the so you can find all your matched audiences here and you can i think you can even share them you can also find them really easily by just clicking that or go take you straight in the campaign manager to that um, and finally, what the one is invoices. There's no invoices yet here, but you can manage all your invoices here as well, which is really cool. So now that we've done that, if you go into the partner, which is super lumen, um, the final thing would be to share your page. So you have a page and let's share the page. So I have this page and I'm gonna share it. Assign role, oops. So when you assign a role, you can make full page control. Um, this role manages everything on the page. It's the only role that can edit the page and manage all admins. So you don't really want to give someone else that access, but you want them to um, potentially have this other stuff, which is this role posts and manages content, comments as the page and exports analytics. So it depends. You can also share your page, um, say to someone who wants to be posting for your page, you can give them that kind of access. Or you can, for example, curate this role recommends content for employees to post and can view and export analytics. That's quite cool. So I didn't even know that. But I guess if you have a bunch of employees and you want them to be regularly posting, you can suggest them, oh, could you share this or could you post this? You can even manage it all for them, which is cool. The last one is analyst. This role only views and exports analytics on LinkedIn and will have limited access on third party partners. So you don't have like HubSpot like you don't see a lot of stuff here, but you can uh, export the analytics. But this is the important part if you're running ads, manage paid media content. So sponsored content posting, you need to give uh, access. Say if you're the client and you're giving access to your agency, you need to give them this access, or you need to ask your client to give you this access. And then there is a lead gen forms manager. So again, this is really important. You need to get lead gen form you need to have access if you're the agency or consultant or you need to, um, or if it's vice versa but the whoever's running the ads needs lead gen form manager because they then they can set up lead gen forms and do all that kind of stuff landing page admin this role manages recruiting focused download landing page so i haven't really done played around with these landing pages but yeah give um make sure you get if you're the consultant, access to all this from your client or vice versa. So that's really cool. Once you have that, you're gonna have access to the ad accounts. So you can set up all the campaigns. You're gonna have access to the match audiences from there. And once you have access to this, you're gonna get access to the lead gen forms and you'll be able to post, create access to all the ads as well. Um, so you need to do those two things to have full access to have 
you know, run someone else's account. Um, apart from that, I believe it's good. I mean, if we go back to partners, say if I want to go to Superlumen, so this is one of my Superlumen, you know, this is a partner of mine. Um, or let's go to the opposite. So I'm now in Superlumen and let's go to partners. So B2B Hero has given Superlumen access, right? So I, I, in partners, I see that I have access to B2B Hero. I click that and I can actually go in to, um, where is it? Partners, B2B Hero. So there's a way to access the campaign manager really easily. Oh, here we go. So super, uh, B2B Hero has given B2B uh, Superlumen the ad account, this training account. So I have, we are now account managers at Superlumen or B2B Hero. So you can find all your ad accounts here and you can literally just click there and it'll go to that ad account in campaign manager. So it's really, really quick and simple. It's a really great way to manage multiple accounts as a freelancer consultant or if you're just doing this for your company and you have multiple departments, it's a really cool way of doing it. I would start doing everything in business manager, which is more of the admin layer above campaign manager. If you haven't seen my campaign manager tutorial, you can find it. it's going to pop up now. Click on that campaign manager is kind of way more uh, important than business manager. It's kind of where everything is done really. So definitely check out that tutorial. It's right here. It's coming up right now.